I'm a nosy person. I was the kid that was under the table as my mom and her friends played spades and dominoes and all the stories I was hearing about who married who, who had kids with who. It just naturally ended up being a part of my life and now it's something that I do and I share with people every single day. My name is Nika Sewell Smith. I am from Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm a professional genealogist. My work as, as a genealogist is varied, but for the most part, it's really just honing in um, and unearthing those stories, in particular about African-American people and our history here in the United States. It's really hard for African-Americans to trace their family history because at one point in time, it was illegal for us to learn and read and write. And so we were literally at the mercy of other people to catalog us, to write us down. So the Freeman's Bureau Collection on Ancestry is groundbreaking because you are really seeing formerly enslaved people documented for the first time as free people. It was started um, in 1865 to help the formerly enslaved enter life as citizens of the country. As a researcher, I consider it one of the trifecta of researching enslaved people because there really is almost no collection that even mirrors what this can do. And in this instance with the Freedmen's Bureau, you are literally typing a name in and pressing search and you're getting to the record that, that you need to get to. So we don't really have historically black colleges and universities without the Freedmen's Bureau and the predecessor schools that become the institutions that we know now. When you had those schools back then, there were black folks in the community who would be utilized as teachers. And Louis B. Toomer is one of those individuals. He was deeply embedded in the community that he taught in. And because of that, I just really was interested in his life, you know, where did he, he come from? What motivated him to, to take on this role? Where did he go later in his life? And really, who are his descendants that are probably walking around today and have no idea they have a connection to this man? My journey and discovery of my family has, you know, hit like an end point. So I'm really excited about what you have to share with me. Yeah, I do have some great stuff to share with you. We're gonna take a particular focus on Louis Toomer, who is your great, great grandfather. You know, family is the foundation for everything. So I'm really excited to learn more about, about him and, and this side of my family. This incredible school report that we have from the Freedmen's Bureau yes. is really why I tracked you down and wanted to find you and talk to you. School report, look how neat this is. Oh my God. And I really love this because they're literally looking at his report that he was sending in to the person who was in charge at the state. Let's see, how many pupils in orthography? 250. How many are reading? 200 in 1866. Recognizing the importance of educating his community means that he knew that he wouldn't be around forever, but that if you can pass on and shape the next generation, you've done well. These really trusted and, and really beloved jobs in the community at large, but also within the black community. You know, he started as a blacksmith, and we know that he was a postal clerk, then we know he was a notary, we know that he was a teacher, he was a newspaper publisher. That's inspiring. All right, so the last thing I have to show you, this is a register of Free Persons of Color, yep. 1863. And we'll come on down here and you'll see Lewis Toomer was free. Lewis Toomer was free. Lewis Toomer was free. Wow. Wow. It's really fascinating. Thank you for this. Me. <laughs> The legacy of Lewis Toomer, especially with that he left with those 350 students, yes. that's how the Bureau lives on today. I attended Spelman and the idea that, that knowledge helps bring about greater opportunity, that has always been a part of, of my family. And so to know that part of that comes from my great, great grandfather, it makes things kind of come full circle in many ways. The Freedmen's Bureau Collection on Ancestry includes more than 3.5 million records. Making it more, more easily searchable and easily accessible, that's what makes this access to it so impactful and so important. So African-Americans 
black folks, however you identify, if you have connections to people who were formerly enslaved, be audacious, be bold, believe that you can find the information. Don't count yourself out at the beginning because you don't have to be a professional. You don't even have to be a genealogist. You just have to be curious. And you can find your ancestors. <laughs>